happened last time on the Lazy Geckos. Like a lot of little neat bars that you can dingy right on up to. You should get an orgasm. It's supposed to be like one of the best species in the world. Turtle! Turtle. Start fitting it, mama. <sighs> so exciting that I get to dive in a bikini. You right? She. Shower after I rinse off, and then I think we're gonna do a little cookout on the beach. Ready for your dinghy lesson? Yes. You want to make sure it's in neutral. Go all the way back. That's reverse. And then, yep, yeah, and then go forward. Now go back to the neutral. Boom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of gas. Okay, now you need to put it out of gear. Okay, now put it back in gear. Now, you want to smoothly give it gas. There you go. And then to get on plane, you just increase throttle. And you want to kind of go hard with the throttle get it up on plane, then you reduce it a little bit when you're on plane. And so you're not going to get on plane in here. Just don't pull it all the way down. Bring it down to idle. Yeah, that's fine. You were, you were there. You're there. And finally, get your... Uh, Stingy qual, yeah. Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking, but yeah. Well, hopefully this goes good. We're gonna go use our new, or not new, but never used Hawaiian sling. Yeah. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm getting the GoPro ready to see if we can catch some footage of me uh, going crazy, but I'm excited. Yeah, it should be cool. Reese, you're gonna go with us and sit in the dinghy and we'll take turns. There's a reef way over there, uh, and we were told that it should be good. So, got our stuff out and we will see how this goes. Hopefully, you know, I learn how to do it when we come home with like a lobster or fish. That'd be sweet, man. Yeah. Let's take a dinghy ride. We're off to do a little spear fishing. This should be fun. I came from the mud. Good luck. Yeah. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the I'm about to get a lesson in lobstering or just spear fishing in general. This is pretty crazy. I feel a little intimidated. So they're out there right now and then it's my turn next because we don't have enough spears. Catching your own food has a thrill to it. Abel has it down. That is awesome. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Before heading back, we made sure to get Reese in the water. He absolutely loves it. 
So I came out here and I see that you're doing something really cool. Now you're done. No, I'm not done. I'm on my, what, this is my third, fourth time. That was right. Oh, you're teaching them? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing there? Pretty cool. I'm making a knot. What's it called? The it's knot? called a bimini twist. Bimini twist. Bimini twist. Oh it, uh, longer, longer tag it. Otherwise you have the same problem as you did before. So you're teaching him so he can do it when we're not here? Yeah. I mean when you're not here? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's better that you can do everything yourself rather than have someone do it for you. So learning is the best. Longer. Like a two foot. Two foot tag end and then you really can never run out of line. What do we got in here? Abel, what do you think I of our know. fishing lures? It's so much better than my selection. No, you're the fisherman here. I know, but I had to leave everything in Australia. I couldn't get luggage for it. Oh, Alan told me about that, yeah. No, it's really good. You got some good stuff. You got the uh, the pushers, like your surface lures, um, which are these, these things to troll around when you guys are fishing. And then the things that I really like that I didn't know you had are these things. They're like a deep diver. That's gonna dive um, eight meters. So like 20 feet, 25 nice. feet, 30 feet maybe. And that's great for reef species like uh, mackerel and wahoo. But they put a lot of strain on your, your on your tackle, but they're really good. I like it. I'm very happy you have those. That is cool. Well, well you're well, welcome to use them. What about my 40 or 50? That's fine. You can stop the last one you're going to be doing. That's funny. <laughs> is your arm tired? No. This is his workout, by the way. Yeah. He won't work out well, with me, freaking, so this is good. I went diving today. Oh yeah, that's good. So while the boys do fishing, up. we drink. Maybe. Maybe this is the important bit. Hey, oh, guys. coming back. Okay, this is the business end. Oh yeah, this part's cool. So you're gonna get it nice and tight. Get that knot snugged up as best you can. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, let go of your right hand, the fishing rod. Oh, I got the tension on that. Okay. okay, now remember you've got to angle it down about yeah. 45 degrees to get the very first wrap on it. Now you've got the entire motion in one go. Right. But you want to have it parallel to the piece of line before it. Wow. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, half hitch on one side only. Around just no, the top? No, just your left hand, just that piece of line there. That, yep. This one? Yep, perfect. Pull the line up through that hole. Up here, through uh, yep. here? That's okay. the half hitch. Lock it off. Nice and tight, like on the bottom. Okay, tight, nice and tight, pull it up nice and tight. And now go to one foot rather than two on the big loop. So lose the line off one of your feet. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Remember now we're going to go and I'll bring the tension up on the rod. Oh look, it, like, uh, it got all loose. Yeah, I screwed it away. Oh. Ah, uh, just the lock, the locking wasn't tight <laughs> enough. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, we're going for number four. Oh, no, I'm, no, I'm no expecting... number five. I thought number four just happened. Okay, this is number five. I was, I was aiming for 12. 12 I'm happy with. <laughs> That's funny. 12 quite normal. Honey, let me know if you need me to take over. Okay, you want to try it? No. <laughs> no, he's got this, he's got this. <laughs> I know, I know. And we'll just continue uh, drinking. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Five times. You got it? Yeah. Five times? I'm pretty sure it's not that good, but he's accepting it. <laughs> it's accept it is Let's acceptable. see the final product. That's his knot, the Bimini twist. You need to, you need to do it. It's no. Not, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close too. I'm, That's very, pretty I'm actually going to give that a pass mark. Nice. There you go. Cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So you now have your loop, okay? Right. So you, you have your loop, so grab yourself your loop. Now the wind on leaders, which we have here, and one other one next to you on the, your right hand side there. Yep. You've now got two loops. You want to loop one inside the other. So the mono one, which is your left hand, you want to pinch the end, squeeze it through the other one, open it up and then grab your hand and grab all the other line mm -hmm. and pull it through. So stick your hand through that hole. Here? Yeah, and grab that line. Mm -hmm. Drop on the floor. Oh, okay. Drop it there. Yeah. Now come back to your knot. Mm -hmm. Now put all the tension from where the knot is. Otherwise, you're going to have an uneven... Okay. You so hear me? From here? Yep, and the knot. Slowly. There you go. You're in. Okay. 
Look at that. Oh, that makes sense what's happening. It's hard to explain like this, though. Yeah, that you makes you sense. See what it did? Yeah. And so the reason, right? The reason is so that when you're winding, yeah. watch this. If I wind it up through the guides, look how smooth this is. Straight on through every guide, down through the level wind, which you have on here, and straight onto the reel. Now you can't do that if you have a big fat knot, right. or a swivel, or a clip, or anything like that. It's yeah. impossible, but now you have direct line all the way through with a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Right, that's cool. And it allows you to have a stronger piece of line where the fish is gonna be. Right. So awesome. I, I think that's a pass mark. I'm, uh, I'm accepting that nice. today. So Thank now we'll you. reference back to this yeah, video right. to yeah, do it like, again. What, uh, what I hope you? we record at the end because I'll be like, there were some knots at the end. Oh, no. no I'll get it. Time to weigh anchor, hoist the sails, and head for the U.S. Virgin Islands. We had great weather. It's just a day sail over to the USBI, so we took our time and enjoyed it. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three. Listen. We're beginning to find our groove. We've sailed the States, the Bahamas, Turks, Dominican, and Puerto Rico. Now it was time to hit the Virgin Islands. We couldn't be more excited. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. I wish I was that dog and I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. I was carrying her like this, and he's like, so I could be nuzzled in there, and you could carry me like that. Did he really? We are turning weapons in from the BBI, so we're getting escorted over to the police station. Coming to a place where I can get pizza in Anchorage is pretty much a dream come true. And Do you know how long it's been? Yeah. Tell us. And on the every he's cruising right next to us. Are you in pants? Oh my god, yes. You're in the wrong thing. <laughs> What did you think about tacking? And I'm hard over. Yeah. We are sailing to Virgin Gorda Sound. It looks like we're gonna have pizza again. Trying to activate uh, the track phone from an anchorage. Jeremiah's giving the boat tour in safety brief. Nikki, Nicole. Uh, Hello, ladies. Hi. <laughs> Your men are getting a workout back there. You're doing good, though. You think, Kevin? Yeah. Pretty easy. Yeah, sure. And it just came in and drenched my entire face. Yeah, I know, I don't normally learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a brewery right here on Cooper. Double fisting. <laughs> so we're doing a glow party. There's some glow lights here on the boat. <sighs> we did warn everybody and tell them it's gonna be a little rough tonight. It's pretty bad when uh, Kevin and I are fighting over the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazygeckos.